Hello everybody, haven't filmed in ages, I apologise. I've been super busy with renovating the salon. Me and Justin have started furniture flipping, which I'm gonna do a separate video on, so you'll see that at some point. But today is the best day, because me and mum are going to do the Christmas decorations, mainly to get out of the responsibilities of hoovering and wrapping up presents. I'll show you my other Christmas tree, which if you haven't seen my video, I've got a whole video on it, and all of the presents underneath it already, which is crazy, because we've not even wrapped half. So that's fun, but if you like to see how we decorate for Christmas, then just carry on. So this is my tree, it hasn't got the lights on at the moment. It's my, my beauty tree, but as you see, we've put all our presents we've wrapped underneath already, so they will probably go downstairs, um, and I'll probably just leave a couple up here, just so it's kind of a clear walkway. But So we're going to move the bar here where we have our cat food in this section here and then move the bar stools there too or potentially one each side of the table i'm gonna get probably move this chair but the tree is gonna go here which we had it last year and it's quite a nice position to have the tree because that's where we eat christmas dinner so it's quite nice then and yes that's planned we'll go into the loft and get the decorations out but they should be relatively easy to find and mum's finding christmas jumpers i've got on my Santa's hat from Lapland. I've got my dashing through the snow, which is actually my dad's. Some Poundland jogger bottoms, which are my favourite, and some pink, which are my secret socks. And we're ready to decorate the tree. We've got the tree down, and the decks are in the lounge. Ready. You could. So we're going ready. We're going red for the tree, um, which we went actually last year. We've got the Christmas tree to come, which means I've got to speak loudly so I don't get copyrighted. And yes. So I've taken off the hat for a second, just because it's really hot. But, so our tree's about seven or eight foot. We've had it for about 20 years, so it's a very old tree, but it still looks really good. It's um, got like really realistic branches at the front and then more like tinsely branches at the back, but it's like a really good tree. How much was it? Oh, it's a lot of money. It was about, it was about 200 quid when they brought it about 20 years ago. Um, but it's really, really good and it's a nice tree. We think it might be in its last legs, so we will see. But yeah, we're going to start. So the tree is actually in better condition than I remember it. I'll show you what I mean by, so it's got like tinsely branches right in the back and then it's like super realistic looking branches. It's actually a really good tree. So actually, I reckon it might last a couple more years. <laughs> and we reckon it's seven foot, we've decided. So yeah, it's time to decorate. So we're gonna start lights, which is the worst bit, so. Wish We've got the lights on. Um, this is our box that should be, I think it's red and green, but we're going to do red. And um, so we're just going to go through, get out all the red decorations, and put the big ones on first that we did with my other Yeah. So we've got these foliage pieces, so you can't see my head. Big foliage pieces, which we're going to put in on the side. So we should put them in like, kind of poking out. The good thing about these is you can kind of just jab them in, like you don't have to have a specific tree or anything. And they just kind of bulk out the tree and make it look a bit more enchanted. So we've got quite a few of them and quite a few of these fake queen setters. So they will go in more like at the front. And I'm just going to pop in all the big ones, um, just so again we can get like the placement of the little ball balls, like I did on my other tree. In there I do explain it all as well. So. You've got two videos to explain how to make a beautiful tree. So you can now see I've got all of like the flowers on, all of the foliage on the outside. There's also some of these little berries, which I've got more of to kind of scatter around, but they kind of just poke in, which I think is really nice just for filling out your tree, especially if you get sort of a slightly cheaper tree. Having these bigger foliage pieces are really good to kind of cover that up. And also, these sort of things that you get from Powerland and places like that, aren't just some pieces, definitely get bigger ornaments and put them on your tree. It looks scary in the shop. When you get home, you realise that no, definitely need like bigger ornaments for the tree and it definitely makes it look a more luxe or garden centre-esque tree. So 
So we've added some little bits of green. Um, just we don't really have enough baubles to do it just red. So we've got out the green ones, which you weren't going to put on, but we are now. And I'm just going to start putting them, kind of scattering them on, but it's looking good. So if you have any baubles that haven't got any string, I quite like to place them in like that above the branch and it just then when you have ones further in on the tree it just like adds a bit of dimension so remember if you've lost them you can still put them on because all of these green ones are just placed on mainly to lost the string but two to add like the dimension and the green on there as well so dad is going to do the honors of trying to put the star on the tree which is always the hardest job he's going to do it first time watch it's twisting, it's an action. Just try and get on. It always we wake up and it's on the floor. <laughs> but this is a tree so far. Show you a little overview while we're trying to get this far on. The green is good, it's padded out. Boom! A bit of tints on it we need to get off, but super cute! This is the final tree. So that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked the tree. There'll be one more tree video coming, but this one's super obscure, a bit special. This is Justin's tree. So very different, very nice idea as a present for your other half. If you like sports, there's your hint for what the tree is. But if you'd like today's video, don't forget to get a thumbs up, comment what your favorite part about the tree is, and subscribe for lots more Christmas decor and Christmas content.